hi i welcome all of you in my channel and in this video in this video i will discuss the performing of independent sample t test for the two samples data in the excel as well as in minitab the data has been collected from pakistan locomotive factory for the training of its employees the new recruited employees has been divided into two groups group a that has been given the training on the existing system of the training whereas a new training system has been devised for the group 2 upon the completion of their training they have tested the knowledge of the trainees now we want to check that whether there is a difference between two training prong programs or not so first of all i will perform the test in the excel before performing the t test in the excel you will have to know that whether you will have to apply the test for equality of variance or for the unequal variance so for that we will apply the variance formula for both of the samples we will have to check the variance by using the command var and then dot s for the sample so click and select the whole data from the start till the end and then click close the bracket click enter so we will get the variance for the sample one is 122.004 and when we move it forward this variance is for column b from b to b63 entries so for you can say this is for the group a and this is for the group b there is a lot of difference between the two variances a rule of thumb is that if variance of one sample is two times greater than the second one then we will apply the t test for unequal variances this is the most important thing you can see twice of the 26.96 uh, is almost you can say it's 53 uh, okay but now the, the the first sample variance is 122 that is too much higher so we will select the test that two sample independent test for the unequal variances this is the most important thing most of the people they did mistake here then to perform the t test we will go to data then click on the data analysis tab a new window will be open you will have to select t test two sample assuming unequal variances and i told you why you will select unequal variances then you will have to select the range for both of the data sets i have entered for the variable 1 then i'm going to enter for the variable 2 so i have selected for both the hypothesis difference between two between them is 0 and there are labels in the first row of each data set and i need the output data in this say in this column that is d43 and then click only okay you will get the results so this is the basically the result of the t test you can see that the t statistic is minus 9.666 and we got p value for one tail as well for inequality becomes in the alternate hypothesis so that's why p value is too much lower and we will take a p a t test with two tails so i will go towards the report writing at the end of this video how will my decision will be that we reject the null hypothesis a very significant difference for is found between the two samples let's go towards the mini tab and we will again perform this test so we have that i have inputted data group a prior to training score and group b revised training scores let's go to stat then go to basic statistics two sample t test so now we will have to select that which kind of data we have we say that each sample is it an own column because we have data for the sample 1 in the column a whereas data for the sample b revised training scores in the column b so here we will go to then options we say that a difference between the two is not equal to hypothesized difference it means that mu 1 minus mu 2 is not equal to 0 and the hypothesis difference is taken as 0 alpha value is taken as 0 uh, 5% or 0.05 you can say it's also 95% please make sure this is the most important thing that you will not click this one that assume equal variances as we know that the variances are too much 
or, or, or the variances are not equal to each other and we have, have we have told you in the earlier of this in the start of this video then for the graph i suggest you to draw the box plot it's very good visualization a very good it, it helps you a lot in the report writing then click ok so you will get the results based upon the result when you come here you will see that your p value 0 0.000 that is too much less and we say that reject the null hypothesis a very significant difference exists between the revised training program and the older one so the conclusion of this test is an independent samples t test was used to analyze the data the result indicate that the mean value or lower for the group a means the prior training program then the group b group b is the revised so the test scores are low for the group a further the result indicates that the obtained p value of 0 0.000 is less than 0 0.05 therefore the null hypothesis is rejected and we conclude that there is a statistically significant difference between the means of the scores of group a prior training program participants and the group B revised training program participants. Then we will move towards the findings. The mean score of group B revised training program is higher than those of mean score of prior training program. It is therefore found that there is a significant difference between prior and revised training program. Further, the revised training program imparted better results and effectiveness in comparison with prior training program. Recommendations. Owing to the finding, it is strongly recommended that, that Pakistan Locomotive should program training as per the revised program to its new employees on general health and safety training. Further, Pakistan Locomotive should perform a continuous quality improvement cycle to improve the training of, of their programs. Thanks a lot for watching this video. If you have any question, you can WhatsApp me, email me, call me, or you can ask in the in the comments further. If you need any kind of help, I'm available. I'm open to your questions. If you have any uh, comments, you can ask. Thanks a lot for watching the video. Bye.